Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Refuge from Narcissism. And this refugee video is sponsored by a contribution from John. And this is John Hooper. I've had many videos from him. It's a very small update. Dear Ollie, a very small update from me. In my last video, you must leave everything behind after going no contact from the narcissist you published on April 14, 2020. I told you that I called my parents and that in the beginning acted like they can't hear me and then acted like they don't know who I am. I could hear their giggling voices and their joy. My brother's fully aware of that incident, but never reacted to that. Since that time, I could manage... Since that time, I could manage no contact. <clears throat> Probably because some kind of emotional Christmas feelings did call my brother a few days ago and asked him about that. He just shrugged it off because he does not know who's telling the truth, but ultimately he believed them, not me. He forwarded me a WhatsApp message that he got from mother. <clears throat> Quote, we have not heard anything from your brother for two years. I have no clue what is going on in his mind and what he is fantasizing about. I can almost, I almost can't breathe when I get such fair accusations. So there it was, a written claim of my mother that this phone call last year never happened. I wrote an email to all of them, my parents and my brother, why they lie about that, why they lied about that, and that and that especially my mother has one last chance to tell the truth. Why are you keep John? It's John, how many times are you going to grab a fucking hot stove till you figure out it's going to burn you every single fucking time? And dealing with your brother, your brother's their enabler. Why? I, I understand Christmas. It, you, you can't do it. You can't. Do it, because they're always going to take their side. doesn't matter how many times he tells you he's on your side or he's looking at... He's not. Think you remember, I remember your parents have money. He wants the money, John. I wrote an email to all of them, my parents and my brother, why they lied about that, and that especially my mother has one last chance to tell the truth. Stop giving them one last chance. My mother goes to church every Sunday, so I wrote her that God hates liars. Right, and your mother's probably an atheist because she believes she's God. My brother called me very upset and told me to stop and that this phone call never happened. I asked my brother, did I ever lie to you? He said, no. Did our parents ever lie to us? He said, yes. So why do you believe them and not me? He could not explain. Because he wants to call you crazy. He didn't have the balls to do it. And this is the thing with my brother. No matter what, it in the end, he always backstabs me while claiming to support me. Yeah. He's an enabler. He's a golden child. That's what they do, John. How long have you been on this channel? You're no different. You're not. An ex your brother and your mother are not the exception to the fucking rule. They're running the. They're running narcissism. The narcissism 101 playbook every time. And you think you're going to get a different result? You're not. One like giving the narcissist one last chance will blow up in your face a hundred percent of the time, because all you're doing is giving them one more chance to abuse you. One more chance for the narcissist is one more chance for them to abuse you. So, hot stove is always going to burn you, and a shit leopard doesn't change its spots. So it was time for my final strike, sending them all the voice, the phone invoice, sending them, sending all of them the phone invoice of April 2020 that proves that this call did happen, date, time, their phone number, the call duration, and bam, of course, I got zero response to that, and you're not going to.
I've said a million times. It doesn't matter what e evidence is meaningless. Your evidence don't mean any. It doesn't matter. They just act like it doesn't exist. They just will act like it doesn't exist. So what they will do now is they will back off for another year or two and wait and hope your defenses are down and take another fucking run at you. Guaranteed. It's up to you if you're going to give them one more chance to abuse you. You control all of that. So, finally let it sink in here, John. These people will never change, ever. Don't give them another chance to abuse you. <clears throat> so, hope that helps. Short update. Thank you. Thank you, John, for another contribution and update. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype phone call or have a private video made or just make a contribution to the channel in general, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Refuge from Narcissism. Take care.